Everybody has dreams. Nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life. Nobody knows what you are. Even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You got to take your shot. And as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dream, it's not going to be like that all the time. You got to do it alone. And people will help you when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe, nobody else is going to believe. People come along because your belief is so insane. Many of you, as I have been, as I am, are where you are in your life based upon what you believe. And it's not just what you think you believe on the surface, it's also your shadow beliefs that are holding you back from moving into the life that you believe you deserve. You have to believe you deserve to win. And sometimes it's not just that we think we're good, but that we've done so much, we must be worthy of winning. And sometimes it's not just who we are that we need to believe in, but what we've done. That sometimes you've got to outwork everybody and you've got to be willing to do the things nobody else is willing to do. So you begin to convince yourself, man, I'm doing all the things everybody else is unwilling to do. So I deserve to get the results other people aren't going to get. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership and lead. Lead. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't for 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. We celebrate warriors. We enjoy the winner. We're irritated and frustrated with the whiner. Each of them have earned the title. But each of them have this thing in common. They earned the title based upon how they responded to struggle. How can we crown someone a champion unless we've seen them struggle and overcome to be a winner? How would we know the valor and courage of a warrior unless he's endured the adversity of the battle? How do you know what the wimp is? until you see them put their faith in fear and ignore a problem hoping somebody else is going to solve it. In this life, there is going to be struggle and when they come, what will you do? What role will you play? Will you engage like the warrior? Will you complain like the whiner? Will you ignore it like the wimp? Or will you be what God created you to be, which is the winner? Do you believe that you're capable of change? Do you believe that good things happen when you go through a process of learning and taking steps? Do you believe that you can actually get out of your patterns? What stands between us and where we want to go? It's always the story we tell ourselves on why we can't achieve that. And, and if, if I wanted to boil it down, I would just say, what is your biggest why? What's your biggest goal that you would love? If it was a year from now, we were sitting here, you're watching this, it was a year later, and it was the best year of your life, what would be the biggest thing that would have changed you? In order to have something different, you are going to have to do something different. In order to have something more, you have to do something you haven't done yet. That thing that you want, I guarantee you, you've convinced yourself that you're fine not having it.
That's why you're not pushing yourself. It's the areas in your life where you've given up, where you've said, oh, I'm fine. There is not one thing that has ever happened to you. Not one experience, not one encounter, not one crisis, not one joyful thing that hasn't happened just to make you better and help you rise. Be excited about your destiny so that you can endure the process that brings you into promise. Because there is a process before promise. And if you don't have at least a vision of the promise, the process will discourage you. There's a voice in you that has said, I can do this. I know others have failed. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. I hate plan B. Every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. Sit on your bed one day and ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? What would happen if you consulted yourself about the best possible outcome for you? I just beat me. This ain't about nobody else. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I just beat me. I'm in a battle with the only person that I really want to fucking beat, and that's me. If I can continue to outdo me from the day before, then I'm ahead. Don't go around telling people what your story is. Everybody has a story. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. It is a neurobiological wiring. It served us thousands of years ago. We wanted to fit into the crowd because if we left the crowd or our social network, we would die of starvation or we would be eaten by saber-toothed tigers. Now we're in the modern age and we are frightened. We are terrified. Our amygdala goes crazy. Cortisol, the fear hormone, starts to pulse through our system if we leave the crowd. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? It's very important that you engage in an ongoing process to develop you. Spend more time on yourself than what you've been spending. No matter what's going on in your life, it's not permanent. Everything is going to change. So there's two things you can do with change. You can react to it or you can participate in it. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. It is far easier not to be successful. Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda?